Bitcoin is still running below its 60 day moving average, which is located around $9,380. The leading digital currency briefly rose above this moving average last Wednesday, but a bearish RSI divergence ensued on the four hour chart, after which the price did drop to $9,150. Bitcoin does not present a clear trading opportunity right now, which gives more chances for the altcoins. Looking at Bitcoin's hash rate, it continued to rise this week, reaching an all-time high of 123 exahashes per second. Meanwhile, Bitcoin's one-month realized volatility reached a yearly low of 30% on Sunday. The last time we saw such low volatility was at the end of March 2019, followed by a 30% weekly increase. All major cryptocurrencies outperformed Bitcoin last week. Cardano pushed up another 33%, gaining for the fifth week in a row. ADA is forming a potential double top pattern with a neutral RSI reading on the 4-hour chart. Since the price is running in the top range with declining trading volume, ADA may face a lot of selling pressure above 14 cents. On the downside, 12.5 cents is a critical support level, which if lost could result in the price collapsing and testing 11 cents. Link has had a very bullish momentum since last week, jumping from $4.80 to an all-time high of $8.60. While we can see a bearish divergence on the 4-hour RSI indicator as trading volume is surging, Link's move to $10 appears to be realistic after a bit of correction in the short term. Looking ahead this week as Bitcoin's correlation with the stock market remains high, we still need to focus on traditional assets, which appear to be led by tech stocks. The Nasdaq surged 4% last week and closed at a record high, but we have seen increasing institutional hedging demand ahead of the new fiscal quarter. Bitcoin will most likely face more pressure if the stock market enters a correction phase soon. Thank you as always for tuning into your weekly crypto update. I'm your host, Ryan Rotolo, and I'll catch you in the next.